Today I want to tell you how um, I would introduce um, the concept that people from all around the world um, may seem different, but they're also very, very similar. And in one way that they're similar is sometimes in a particular food that they have in common. I want to tell you about a story called Everybody Bakes Bread. In this particular book, um, there's a little girl who's actually from an Italian family living in a large city, and um, it's a rainy Saturday morning, and she's stirred up. She'd much rather be outside playing, and she's not happy that she has to stay in. So she starts fussing with her brother while her mother's baking bread, and her mother gets tired of it. So her mother asks her to go um, visit some neighbors that they know and ask them if they have a three-handled rolling pin to help her finish making her bread. Well, the little girl doesn't realize there's no such thing as a three-handled uh, rolling pin, but she is happy to get out of the house, um, even if she is just going to the neighbor's house to ask for a favor. Um, when she gets to each of the houses along the way, she encounters uh, families from different cultural backgrounds. And so each, at each stop along the way in this particular story, the family is baking bread, but it's a different type of bread. So she gets exposed to the foods of that culture and the kindness of those families. It's about relationship building. And she gets to sample some of the breads. And along the way, she um, tries out some chalas and some pocket bread and um, some uh, cornbread, some chapatas, uh, some coconut bread. And um, by the time she gets home, uh, her mother's finished with the bread that she has baked, and of course she's no longer hungry. And um, she realizes along the way, as she's asked for this three-handled um, rolling pin, that there is no such thing, and that her mom had tricked her. But she really doesn't care at that point. And um, she learned along the way that the neighbors that she has um, are really neat people, and that she made some new friends along the way. Um, so that's a great foundational starting point in your classroom to talk about differences in families and differences from other cultures. Uh, an extension of the book and the activities could be uh, to have a bread tasting uh, activity in the classroom and talk about how they taste alike or different or sweet or sour, um, what the preferences are. You could graph it mathematically. Um, you could also then invite the parents from the different cultures in your classroom to bring in some breads that they like to bake and have uh, each of those students um, feel honored because they get to bring in something from home that represents their family and tell about it. Uh, again, the, his, the teaching of social studies or uh, family perspectives comes from storytelling. And so any opportunity you get, uh, you allow the child to tell the story of their family um, is the educational component of the early childhood experience. Um, there's many different things that you can do to spin off of this, but I think it's a good starting point.